okay so in this video we'll talk about select boxes so how can we make them uh, look good and how to deal with them easier by using the plugin called select to so if you see at the moment uh, it is ugly and we cannot search for a particular uh, value here okay so we'll use a uh, select to so let's first install that okay so I'll use the CDN so I'll just copy uh, these and I will paste that in my layout master okay so here below head I'll paste them and I will take the script so make sure your script is uh, loaded after jQuery is loaded so it should be uh, below the jQuery okay so this is jQuery loading jQuery after yeah you can place down here okay so now our this selective plugin is installed uh, we'll make a section for our javascript file okay so yield js and let's go to the front page where we'll be writing our code so here at the moment we have this select field i'm using laravel collective okay for to make this form uh, we got the district value and we want to make this look nicer so what we need to do is mm, down here so section js and section uh, to initialize the select to plugin all we need to do is we need to first make sure that document is uh, loaded we have to call the uh, select to method on whatever element we want to make uh, whatever select box we want to make pretty okay so all right so uh, at the moment we got this id district over here so we'll call that okay district and we need to call select two okay so that's it now if you head to our uh, your front page and reload yeah you should see the much better select box okay you can even search for certain value over here okay all right so uh at the moment i'm using this laravel collective so uh it is already making my task easier because i'm loading this value from uh, my database and i'm passing that value to this view but suppose uh, we are not using any uh, plugin or we are not in laravel itself so we are in another platform and we want to use select to so we'll take example by making the simple select box so i will give it name whatever i want for example just location and location i will give it id also so location okay select all right so uh, i want to call the select to method on this id so i will copy that and i will replace that okay so at the moment we have no data and if you go here and see you should see yeah so at the moment it is its width is not good so let's make that uh, so let's give it some width okay so here uh, for now I'll just use inline so I'll inline CSS I'll give 150 pixels now we should see a little bit wider one okay so uh, let's give it placeholder value so to add any options you need to put the curly braces and you can uh, place the options here so placeholder will be now if we reload again yeah we should see that placeholder value okay so uh, we have no data at the moment so uh, we want to fetch the data from our database okay so to do that we will use the inbuilt ajax option in uh, select to 
so to do that we'll specify the ajax option so it is uh, like any other ajax okay so so you can uh, specify any value here okay so we'll use curly braces here so url so url is the endpoint where you want to fetch data from so if you have been following this playlist we already have defined the endpoint from where we uh, want to uh, fetch the data so this will be search city okay so if you want to see the code uh, it is available on github you can see there so this is the url where we want to fetch the data from okay so that url will lead us to this method okay so from here will fetch the data okay so this will be the mass cities okay so what generally we are doing is we are searching for city here so next will be the type so what type of uh, this is the post request so we have to specify that also other thing uh, is data type so data type will be uh, json next uh, the delay so uh, we'll put the 250 milliseconds of delay before it uh, initiates the ajax request so this will prevent us from a continuous ajax request whenever, uh, whenever we are typing something in our surface so i'll talk about that in a moment so data so data will be the data which will be passing to this endpoint we are post uh, data which will be posting to this so if you see in the function we are uh, getting the location value and we'll query that in our city database city um, yeah city table okay let me show you our database too so okay so what we are doing is we are searching for the city okay so this column So that we can display the uh, goals around that city okay so uh, we are getting that data and we are plugging the city okay so with key this value of value in this database so this will be the key and value itself so key value so i will console log that in a moment so that you can see clearly so next uh after that let's go back to our front page from dot play dot php so here since we are posting the data uh, from the source field okay so here so whatever we type here uh, will be posted to that endpoint so this endpoint so here uh, we'll define the function so function contain parameter so parameters just to make it plural okay so next so parameter will be so you can specify any key over here so location value so this will be the key which we will be using here so i i've already made this so I, to make things easier i just put that value over here so uh the will be the, uh, the location value so the value in this key will be parameter uh, dot tom so this is the inbuilt okay so select to so terms will contain uh, the term wh whatever we are typing there okay all right so this is what we need to pass so data part is done next actually we need to return this okay so return and inside return we'll put that okay all right so return is the statement so we need curly so semicolon here so this is the data and after data is passed so we need to process the results so because uh, the data coming from a database might be in any format so we need to process the result before passing it to select to so that it can display correctly 
so process results so that will contain the function in data so so data will contain all the uh, results from our database all right so so in function we need to return so what we want to return we want to return the results so results dot map so you can see documentation if you are confused about the syntax okay so data dot items function so let me write it first and i'll explain in a moment since uh, select to accepts uh, this format we have to return id and text okay so so what we are doing here is uh, so result coming from this method contains the match city so uh, we have to return the data here so uh, response okay so we are returning the object which have key this which has key items and the value inside the items will be match cities all right so Mm, that's what we have done here. So uh, data will contain that value. So we are accessing the items. So these items. Okay. So here. All right. So it doesn't matter at this moment because value and I will contain the same value. Okay. Because we are passing here same thing. All right. So next. Mm, so if you have any questions, just ask in comment. Okay. So I hope I can. I have explained it well okay so uh, this is all we need to do okay just save it and let's head towards our front page our method search city so what we need to do is we need to add because we are searching from uh, the field we need to search for uh, every uh, letter so for example if i type p it should show the uh, cities are uh, beginning from p okay so in order to do that i need to use where like so where like this is uh, we have to use percentage for letter beginning with that and percentage at end okay so now it's working okay so that's it so uh, if I hit find it is not finding because so location select so this is the new ID now so uh, we'll get uh, the value of that so We, we just remove that so we don't need that so we only need one value so now it should work fine so we'll search for any other yeah so it's working okay so this is how you use select box uh, to pull in data from database and, and do the request and all the stuffs okay okay so at the moment what we are doing is we are selecting from here and we are hitting find to update our map so what we can do using select to is we can just call back uh, once we select something over here so it will automatically take update the map okay so in order to do that here is um, the callback functions so you can utilize them also so if you go to events so here is event called select so whenever a result is selected so whenever you select something uh, this callback will um, come into play and update your 
code or update your map or whatever you want to make so let's go back to front page so this is what we were doing in location select okay so uh, what we want to do now is in same div whenever we select something so location select so what we want to do is on mm, so what is that yeah on this select to select event so on this event we need to put this inside so whenever some uh, someone uh, make the selection there we'll use that event e okay so for testing purpose you can alert that selected okay let's test that out now uh, what now that should do is whenever we select any options from this field it should alert uh, select it okay yeah so it is doing that perfect so now instead in place of alert what we want to do is we want to trigger our the function our function uh, what is going uh, whatever so this is the function which is tr triggered whenever we hit find so now we want to put all this code inside the, uh, this function over here so let me make two tabs let me close the sidebar okay so this is front page and this is script so uh, this is what we did to fetch the data okay so this is our event so whenever someone selected something we want to trigger that okay so um, what we want to do is first we'll get all this code up to here i'll copy that and i'll just paste that here okay so it will just take the value uh, whatever in this field it will uh, do the post request to this endpoint with the value this value and whenever it returns the masked value it will it will just construct the uh, latitude and longitude value coming from our database and it will create the map and search for girls okay so these are all function inside script.js if you want to see them you can once again uh, code is available on github at webdevmatics is the username okay so now let's test that out now let's select anything this yeah so this is upgrading okay so this is how you do callback this is all about the selective plugin so i'll see you in the next video bye